Give your head some. <laughs> now, come on. Come on. What are you doing? Urban tactical instructor Jay Stratton, who has a dense background in combat medicine, recently held a tactical medicine class at Gulf Coast FCS Kali in Trinity, Florida. The coursework covered multiple topics in tactical medicine, centralizing in care under fire. The first part of the class was simple enough. We discussed modern statistics on active shooter or mass shooting environments, but it wasn't too long before we got into all of the fun stuff in the course. We started the activities with what are called Kim's games, in which we were only given one minute to memorize a group of items that were placed under a towel. The idea is that you must memorize every detail that you can possibly retain about the group of items, which ranged from common items to useless objects. On face value, it doesn't seem very hard. But that's when the fun part comes in. We were instructed to pummel a fighting dummy with all of our vigor for a period of three minutes after examining our objects. It had been a while since I had to go all out for three straight minutes, but I wanted to do it right, so I gave it all I had. In the final 30 seconds, I had virtually no strength left, barely able to lift my hands for a hammer fist to the head. At the end of my round, I was immediately instructed to stand and answer a series of questions about the details of the objects. I don't mean to brag, but I only missed one question out of the bunch. Hank gets hard on for these things, being a sniper. So what's the next guy do? Runs over to grab his buddy, picks him <laughs> up, starts to drag him. Boom! He gets popped. Here comes the third guy. I'm going to save all you guys. Grabs his friends. Rambo. Boom, gets popped again. Three people dead. <laughs> I mean, once the first guy drops, I'm going to get to cover. I'm a medic, but I know get to cover. <clears throat> Suppress. One of the things that we learned extensively was tourniquet application. The type of tourniquet we were training with was called a CAT, which stood for Combat Application Tourniquet. Designed to be deployed quickly and in combat settings, and operates simply enough to be deployed with one hand so that if you're by yourself, you won't bleed out before help can get to you. We were timed at each application of our tourniquet, and we were eventually given the challenge to apply the tourniquet to ourselves while remaining in a down position in order not to get shot twice. In some of the scenario training, we were taught how to triage victims in the prone position, such as in the active shooter situations. In another setting, we were told to triage a group of folks that were not part of an active shooter situation. Our goal was to move from victim to victim and establish the needs of each victim while remaining tactically safe in the environment. Bouncing around between the victims, most of us did not notice that what was set up, while not being part of an active shooter situation, was actually the aftermath of a brutal knife attack. In yet another aspect of the training, we were blindfolded in the dark and were disoriented by strobe lights. Once guided to the proper position, we were instructed to do a blind, prone trauma exam in which the instructors did their best to confuse and distract you. We would then have to go back and list all of the problems that we found on the body. While most of the tactical trainings that we encounter involve learning how to protect yourself by taking a life, we must not forget how important it is to learn how to save a life as well. You don't have to be in a life-or-death environment in order for tragedy to occur. You could be walking down the street and a stray bullet from a drive-by severs your child's femoral artery. Do you know enough to improvise a tourniquet and stop the bleeding to save their life? Attending a tactical medicine class may change many of those thoughts from uncomfortable fears to confident living.
As always, special thanks to the fine folks at Urban Tactical for putting together such a fantastic training. Remember that you can go to urbantactical.org to find more about their myriad trainings available. Also, special thanks to the fine folks at Gulf Coast FCS Kali. If you want to find out more about the trainings and seminars available, please go to gulfcoastfcskali.com. Thanks for watching another episode of The Art of Badass. Visit our homepage at theartofbadass.com or visit our Facebook page at www.facebook.com backslash official A-O-B-A. Remember, there's a million ways to make yourself better. Some ways are just more badass than others. The goal at The Art of Badass is to put all of those ways together in one place. That way, you never have too far to look in finding your path to badass.